five, we are going to create smoothie nails. It looks like that. All right, that's good. You can hear me. That's fantastic. Okay, but there you go. This is uh, my version of a banana smoothie. So this is what we're going to do. Um, please help me out uh, by sharing this video with your friends so we can get a lot of fun people in here. And um, with that, I think we are going to start we got uh, a lot of the content crew girls in the comment section so if you have any questions we also got lisa helping out answering all your questions so don't hesitate to ask so if i accidentally miss any of your comments then they will help out i will try to answer as many of your comments as uh, possible of course as well but I'm going to put her down here. Oh, maybe you are probably wondering, uh, this hand, this is the Lysa color. A lot of you guys are asking about the colors. Let me show you. Um, this is Lysa and this is April. So in the light, when you are taking pictures, um, I would say the skin tone gets like one tone lighter when you take pictures of it. So uh, yeah it on the phone whatever uh so lisa april and then i have this is actually the finger i'm going to use today this is lucy so this is one shade darker and then we got inessa which is one shade lighter than um uh, help me out april okay so, it seems like uh, the live might be cutting out a little bit. Let me know if it's uh, struggling for you. I just, uh, I'm looking at my computer and it says it, it um, uh, it's struggling a little bit, but let's see what happens. Okay, so, here is the finger. So, we're going to work with that. And once again, for all you new people, welcome to the Moonflare Live. We're going to create some smoothie nails today. And please help me out by sharing this video with all your friends and the family so that we can get a lot of people in here. So I think we're going to start by actually uh, cutting this nail down a little bit. I want to, I want to have a, like a ballerina shape. So we're going to do that. Okay, and just going to above. So obviously you do this on a finished um, prepped nail, not a finished file because we are going to encapsulate all this. So you want to start from, from the base of the nail. Okay, it's back now. Okay, good. Good, good. Hopefully it will stay that way. I don't know. I think I have good connection here. It shouldn't be a problem. So that's weird. Okay, so this is your base, and if you want to, if this is a client, you can, you can put down like a basic pink or something as a base before you start, or if you want to make it more of a white-toned look, then you can put down a white color. But what I am going to do is, and this goes for every, like if, you, if you're going to do... Um, whatever type of uh, fruit you're going to create. If you want to have a matching color or a color in general, this is the color you start with. So um, since we're going to do the banana smoothie, I want to add some yellow into this um, uh, nail. Okay, so uh, I'm going to use this uh, color from Light Elegance and just sorry he had to go and then i'm just gonna randomly place that on the nail how are you guys doing by the way are you back at work or are you still at home okay so i'm gonna start down here 
and then just kind of randomly just add a little bit of color so if you want to do like a strawberry smoothie or a daiquiri <laughs> whatever you want to do this is this is kind of you know the same technique but you use different colors you can add glitters you can add foil even or other things to encapsulate but yep whatever rocks your boat and i'm just gonna take my uh, oh here's my lamp and we can might as well just keep that in there so there you go so we're gonna cure that uh, so i'm just gonna check your comments real quick while that is curing oh hi charlie i am doing fantastic how are you <laughs> and emily is doing great she's she's missing her clients yeah i miss my clients too and the moonflare team for sure. Yeah, where is everyone from? Where are you guys watching from? So I think I put this on 60 seconds. So I'm just gonna pause that. So that was about that was 30 seconds uh, for the color. And so now we need a uh, clear. So I'm gonna move on with uh, one step for those of you working with light elegance. But just a clear, thin viscosity. Oh, from the US, from Norway. Hi, Saskia. Berlin, Germany, wow. Cool. So now we're gonna take that clear gel and we're just gonna place that over the entire nail. And once again, hi to all new viewers. So we are doing this smoothie technique in this video. Everything you see, like all the nail art stuff, uh, we of course have it in the shop. So that's moonflare.se and then you can switch it over to the international version just by clicking the English button at the bottom right corner, I think it is. Okay. Oh, Charlie, you're doing well. Oh, listening to storm. Oh, you got a storm rolling in. Mm. Oh, in the UK. Cool. So, I am, as I said, going to do a banana smoothie. So, that's what we're going to choose. And I'm actually going to pick out... Uh, I'm going to take two of them as they are. But then I want to slice one in the center because when you do that, it kind of helps with um, to make it look like it's more um, embedded in the smoothie. So I'm going to take that and I am just going to grab like a pusher. And then I'm just going to hope you see this. You see that? That's the little banana. I'm just gonna slice it in the center using my pusher. You can use whatever, something sharp. So there you go. So now I got two parts. I'm gonna, oh, my, might as well use both. Why not? So placing that one here and then maybe something like that. Okay, so remember now that we are going to encapsulate all of this. So always when you are encapsulating thicker things like this, keep in mind to just kind of keep them in the center because that's where the nail is going to be the thickest. That's where we're going to build the apex and everything. So try to stay away from the sides since we want that to be nice and thin. Okay, so... Um, we're going to cure that for 30 seconds. There you go. <laughs> I see that someone's getting hungry. Yeah, <laughs> I know. I was doing this and I seriously, need, I badly need a banana smoothie right now. Problem for me is that my stomach can't take bananas. I get super nauseous and... Um, sick so i can't eat bananas but 
they're so good and banana smoothies they're the best like they are so good i and i i cry sometimes over the fact that i can't eat bananas but you know it is what it is at least i can do banana smoothie nails so here we go <laughs> looks so fresh monica yeah it's Exactly, it's perfect to mark the last month of the summer. Definitely, this is a really like summery, fun design. So I'm gonna go in with a color called Mar Marshmallow, and this is just a uh, milky white. You can use any milky white, or you can even mix your own milky white. So it doesn't matter if you want to mix your own milky white. Just take a little bit of clear and then a little bit of yellow, mix it together, and then you uh, no, yellow, but white white and clear you get me and then you have this little mix so what i'm going to do now is to randomly just kind of place it a little bit here and there and the goal is to kind of make the banana slices look like they are embedded in this like can you see here like it comes out a little bit of that and then it goes back up and down you know you know what I mean. And a little bit over here, I think. So this part, once again, keep in mind that if you want to do a, add a lot of um, gel, keep that in the center of the nail. So I think I'm gonna cover this side right here and then come up here. Maybe a little bit something like that. Looks pretty yummy, I would say. So we're gonna go in one more time with this so you don't have to make it perfect right away. So I'm gonna start with this and then we are going to cure. You don't have to fully cure this because um, we're gonna add the same thing on top. But yeah, the more the better, of course. But for now, I just want to make it stop running okay there we go and then i'm just going to add a little bit more and build it up a little bit so and then a little bit thinner be careful around the edges and the tip of the nail Oh, I don't want to cover up that banana slice too much. Oh, I don't know why this is cutting out all the time. Is it still cutting out? Can you see me? <laughs> so it just kind of disappeared on my computer. I don't know what happened. Uh-uh-uh. Okay, let me see if it still works. Mm hmm Give me a sign that you are still here because now my computer says that you are not. Do, do, do. I don't know. Okay, you're still there. Good. Oh, anyways. I'll just have to leave my computer then. Uh, okay. Good. Okay, well, at least you guys are still here. My, com my computer just shut the video off completely. I don't know what happened. Oh, whatever. Okay, so we have the second layer on here. Building it up a little bit. Okay, now I think we're back on the computer and then we are going to cure that Awesome that you are still here <laughs> so um, Now I'm actually gonna go in with a little bit more of that yellow and uh, I'm gonna just add that to make it because you know a banana smoothie. It's I don't want it to be like super smooth i want it to be a little chunky as well 
So that's why I'm going to add a little bit of that yellow. And this is, as you know, as I said, the same thing if you're doing any other type of um, smoothie nail like this. I mean, you could leave it like that and just encapsulate it and that's uh, it. We're going to add some um, foam as well. But I think for the banana smoothie that, as I said, you know, I want a little bit more like chunky, the chunky feeling. So I'm going to take my block brush from uh, my nail art brush kit. And then I'm just going to dab around it like that to add just a little bit more color and make it look like we got a little bit more like... Um, yeah, chunks in it. So up here we are going to add the foam so it doesn't have to be like all perfect up here. But just adding a little bit anyways. Okay, so I think I'm pretty happy with that. Yeah, so this is gonna add the effect that we got more of a chunky smoothie. I think I'm going to go over this part a little bit. There you go. Like the banana is melting. And curing. So for the next step, before we are going to encapsulate, if you want to add foam, this is where you do that. But you can also add foam after filing and curing. So it really depends on what look you're going for. But I'm going to show you what it looks like when you are encapsulating the foam. So I got a little box of water and soap. It looks like that. So water and soap. And I'm just going to shake this like a crazy person. So let's go. And you have to shake it hard. Ah. Oh my god, yeah. And the harder you shake it, whoops, the smaller bubbles you are going to get. And this was like a tablespoon of water and just a lot of soap, and that's how you get this. So I'm just gonna put that over here. <laughs> now we need a white. So I'm just gonna use, I'm not gonna use marshmallow because I need something with a little bit more pigment. So I'm going to use uh, the perfect white. So any type of white with just a little bit more pigment is fine. I'm gonna take my block brush again. Grab that white. And then just go over the edge up here because that's where I want the foam to be. You can even, I was thinking about going like down all the way here and add more bubbles but I think we are going to do this version the nice thing with with this is that the white doesn't have to be perfect around the cuticle so you better make sure that uh, the base layer is put like applied nicely on the nail and then you add the white but it doesn't have to be perfect around the edges so that is pretty neat but something like that, we'll see what happens. And if that looks good, I have no idea. Um, I'm gonna take my little cuticle pusher again and just grabbing some, I want the small, the small bubbles. Well, they're not that small anymore, but let's just go with this then. I think the smaller, the better for the smoothie nails I don't know but anyways now we are going to cure that so bam and uh, I think it's enough with just 30 seconds for this as well so we're gonna do that and clean up a little bit as well Ugh. and if you uh, didn't know we got some new cool brushes in the shop, the new uh, unicorn brushes. They are a dream, very pretty. And the black one. I really love these, they're so, so, so cute. 
Uh, Charlie, that looks cool even without the bubbles. Um, yeah, exactly. Like when they don't mix your eyes drink. Yeah, exactly. So you can, I mean, you can choose. I'm just doing like everything so you can see all the different things you can uh, add to create your own personal smoothie. But you can definitely just skip the bubbles for sure. And there you go. So the more bubbles you add, or like, no, the, not the more bubbles, but the more um, white you add, the more, of course, white you're going to get up here. I'm going to show you, um, like for this, whoops, for these two, I didn't use as much white, but I wanted to try to add, I want it to look almost like, you know, like cream. So that's why I added a little bit more this time. So we'll see how that turns out. And going in with... Let me see if I got my brush here. Yeah, I'm going to go with this one. So now we are going to encapsulate this. So I'm using just a clear... And going over the entire thing. So first creating my slip layer. And then now because I got a lot of things that need to be covered. I'm going to add a little bit more gel than usual maybe. But this looks pretty darn yummy I would say. What is your favorite smoothie? What kind of flavor? I think if I could eat banana, that would be one of my favorites. And of course, like strawberry. That is a must. So I'm just adding a little bit more. And building up the center a little bit so that we have something to file into. By the way, I'm actually using our new uh, iPhone and tablet stand right now for this live. So that is something that I also recommend a lot. Uh, it's really, really nice to use. And it's super just kind of stable and yeah, I really do like it. So if you are looking for something to hold your phone when you are doing live videos or um, if you want to film tutorials or step-by-steps, then uh, definitely check out our new iPhone stand. I'm um, just making sure that get everything here in the center okay so we are going to cure that and here you go and let me see if i can get my computer running again while curing that okay so now i can see your comments awesome okay you got strawberry and banana together and we got and banana and raspberry mm -hmm. strawberry with mint okay blueberry and raspberry mango anything <laughs> right that sounds good okay so a little bit more than pineapple yeah that's also good also another another fruit that i can't eat even though banana is considered to be a berry but anyways I love orange. I love orange so much. And that's also something that I can't eat too much of, but at least a little bit. Uh, maybe a little bit more. So now we need to shape this. Well, first off, we are going to cleanse. And then we are going to shape. So, whoops. The easiest way to do this, like when you're shaping, you could shape directly on the finger. But I think it's easier to just uh, shape it like this, actually. Uh, 
And here you need to be careful so you don't file off too much of what we have done. So you need to really look at it. Uh, however, it doesn't, I mean, if you file into like a banana or a little bit of the white or anything, it doesn't really matter because it almost makes it look a little bit more realistic even. I found out uh, earlier today. But I would say try not to file into it too much. And especially be careful around the cuticle with um, the foam. Mojito! Oh, I want to see you guys try out a mojito. Or some other cool smoothie. I seriously, I want all of you looking. Uh, I want to see your favorite smoothie on a nail after this. So you do the things that I've done here and then you just change out your fruits and create your favorite smoothie would love to see that you can use the hashtag moonflare smoothie okay putting that one imagine if you could do this on a client that would be pretty convenient okay so now we got this right here Mm -hmm. And we are going to add the shine. And this is where the magic happens. This looks pretty yummy. Okay. Something like that. And there you go. So let me just double check so you can see that in the camera. Okay, so curing that. All right, um, would you like me to do another one with another fruit maybe? Comment, um, comment below then. Charlotte would love to be able to snap off the fingers of some clients. Yeah, sometimes <laughs> that would be fantastic. <laughs> so um, the fruits are obviously available in the Moonflare shop. So that is moonflare.se slash en slash slash home if you want to get to the international version of the website. Um but uh, yeah, we do got all these and you can create pretty yummy stuff with this, I would say. Okay. Okay, you want to see another one. Okay, let's do that. Let's do it. Um, so I was thinking of maybe doing, because I, I don't even know what kind of fruit that is, but I want to do like a... a mm, like an Im magical, imaginary f smoothie drink fruit thingy. I think I'm just going to kind of improvise a little bit. And I want to add some glitter to the this as well and see what happens. So let's do that. Okay. So I'm just going to cleanse this and then it is done. Is it lime? No, it's not lime. It's like um, it's it's blue. So it's 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 like turquoise, turquoise blue. So it's not really lime. You could think it's lime, but I slime lime, but I don't think it is lime. So I'm just gonna fine tune a little bit. Okay, but. Here's my banana smoothie for you guys. Unicorn citrus for show. We are going to do a unicorn drink. Okay, let's go. And it's going to match this guy. That's what we're going to do. Okay, so I'm going to put my little uh, banana smoothie down here. And we are going to get another nail. I think that the unicorn 
smoothie or drink should be a stiletto. I think we're going to leave it like that. Okay, this is going to be interesting because I'm just going to wing it right now. I have no clue what we're going to do. We'll see. But I picked out a blue, so we're going to use this. This is called a long board. And we are going to start with that and just add that as a base. And swirl it a little bit first. Okay. Siren Song. I don't even know where I... Well, I know where I got it, but I'm too lazy to <laughs> look. So I'm going to use Longboard instead. So I think we're going to start down here. And then just kind of move our way up a little bit. And then kind of fade it upwards. So something like that. Yeah. I think that's good. Okay. This is going to be exciting. And then we are curing. Oh. Ooh. Uh, like that. Hello, Natalie. Okay, so next step was the um, fruits. So we need the one step, and then we're just gonna add those uh, turquoisey, whatever it is, some kind of citrus, citrus, citrus. Yep. Okay. Today, there you go. And let's ooh, twirl that and grab some one step. And so I'm just going to apply that over the entire nail. So this is a chance for you to kind of cover everything at the cuticle area as well. Okay. And now I'm just going to take a couple of these. And place them. I think I want to cut uh, one as well. So when you are working here from with a tip, you need to find uh, one of the females that is maybe a little bit thinner. But I definitely need a sliced one. So just taking my pusher again. And I'm just going to slice that in half. Maybe that's the half. Okay. There you go. I think it's nice to use the, uh, the cuticle pusher to slice them because then you get... You, it's, not, it's not sliced perfectly. Like it looks maybe a little bit more realistic. Okay. Maybe if... Is that too many? Should I remove one? I should maybe remove one. Yeah, definitely. Too much of the good. Sometimes that happens. Very rarely, but sometimes. Hi, Sammy. Okay. I think I'm happy with that. Because I want to add a little bit of glitter into this as well. So, okay. So, curing. And... I think I want to add the glitter before I um, add the marshmallow because I want to be able to kind of encapsulate that into the milky white. I think that's going to look good. Hey, this is his nail for show. Okay. So going in with snow cone, one of my favorite glitters. It is so pretty. And I'm gonna use, I need another block brush. I'm gonna use this one. Okay, so just swirling a little bit. And then we're just gonna add, ooh, I can't tell right now that this is gonna be yummy. Ooh, ah. I think I'm going to add a little bit on top of uh, the fruit as well. I 
think that will look good. Okay, but I don't want to cover everything. I don't want to have glitter everywhere. So just like a little bit here and there, even though it's kind of taking over, but not really. Ooh, yeah, yeah, that's nice. That is pretty. Okay, curing that. And now I think I am, well, I think I am gonna go in with the marshmallow, so your milky white. And here's that, if you wanna take a look at that. So if you guys didn't see the first part of the video, uh, this is gonna be saved, so you can go back and watch it later if you want to. Um, yep. Okay, so adding some milky white and you can definitely leave it like this as well if you want to make more of a drink look then just go with this and encapsulate and you're done but we might as well experiment while we are here because that is fun okay so going in with my milky white and let's see where we are going to put this. Don't want to cover up everything, but almost. Not really, but kind of. I definitely want to cover up some of that. Some of the fruits. Like going in between like that is kind of nice. Ooh, need to be careful here. And as I said, be careful with the edges. Don't add too much around the edges because you're going to file through it. If you add too much. But yeah, something like, like that maybe. I don't know. That looks good. Okay. I think we are going to cure that. It looks pretty cool. I don't know if I'm gonna go in one more time with that or skip it. Maybe one more time, just a little bit. Just a tiny little bit. Yes, I think it's so pretty when you got glitter mixed up with the milky stuff. It uh, gives it a lot of dimension, I think. So I'm just going to go in with a little bit more of that marshmallow just in the center part of the nail because here I know I can build it up a little bit more. Um, yeah, just give it a little bit more contrast and dimension. And maybe just a little bit more over this one, so it kind of hides that. But here you can see that when you have sliced up um, fruit like that, it's easier to make them look like they're coming out from inside of the nail, if you know what I mean. I would drink this too. <laughs> Don't know what would happen, but something magical. Definitely. Okay, so... Um, should we add some um, foam to this? I think we should, because it's a unicorn drink, so we should have foam in it. And we should try to create foam like it goes through the nail, uh, just for the sake of it, see what that looks like. So yeah, let's do that. Uh, taking my white, and then Let's add that up here to start with. And as I said, it doesn't have to be perfect around the cuticle area or anything. But then what if we try to make it go down like this? I have no clue if this is going to work. But that is the fun part of this. Okay. And keeping everything raised up like in the center as much as I can. 
I have no idea if this is going to look good or not. But we might as well try. Okay. And I'm just going to shake my <laughs> box of water and oh, again. Okay, here we go. Ooh. One, two, three. Oh, I'm getting water everywhere. Okay. Ooh, I got water on my glasses. Or oh, okay. Here we go. Here we go. He's happy. Okay. Uh, I probably need to clean this up a little bit. I got this everywhere. Let me get a towel. Cleaning that up. Okay, now we are going to add that to the nail. Precis, ingen kommer ihåg en fegis. Nu kör vi bara. Okay, so I'm gonna grab a little bit of that. Okay. And down here. And Ooh, need to put this in the light. La 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 la. Here we go. Okay, this is gonna be exciting. Oh. Just gonna clean this up a little bit. Okay. This is gonna be very exciting. Okay, come on. Oh, you should see it in the light right now. It's glowing. <laughs> Looks really cool. Okay. Oi, oi, oi. Vad kommer hända här? Well, I think that looks pretty cool, actually. I am, uh, I am actually really happy with that. I'm happy that I didn't chicken out. Jag vet att jag borde använda en pettflaska, men jag hade ingen. <laughs> This was the best I could do for now. <laughs> Så, då ska vi... Nej, nu är vi på engelska. We are going to encapsulate this. Okay. So, starting up here. And of course, you can, as I said, do this foamy thing on top of the finished file nail as well. I think that would also be really pretty. And scooping up some gel to encapsulate with. And just going down and down and down. My computer is still acting up. Like it says that it can't play the video. Are you getting... Is the video struggling for you as well? I don't know why my computer is going all cray cray on me. At least I can see what I'm doing in the in the phone, but it's easier if I could just watch it on my computer. But not today, I guess. Oh, I want this on my nails. I think it looks very yummy. Yummy, yummy, yummy. Okay, so I'm adding quite a lot of gel right now to encapsulate this. Okay, I think I'm good for now. Okay, you guys are doing great. Well, then it's just my my awkward computer that is acting up, probably. And I'm happy for that. So at least you can see what I'm doing. Okay, that's good. Good, good. Okay, and I'm just gonna move that gel around a little bit so we got that in the center, so it's gonna be easier to file. But I uh, think I'm pretty happy with this. Okay, yep, curing that. So um, if you guys don't have a ready go on a hand yet, 
I would recommend every single nail tech in the world to invest in a uh, red iguana hand because as you can see it is so much more fun to work with and so much easier and it's like the best client you could ever have no but seriously <laughs> the thing is that when you are uh, working now maybe you don't have clients because of the, the pandemic and everything it is so nice to have a, a client like this uh, because then you can still get your work out people will see that you are still active they won't forget about you so um, I think this is really something that every single nail tech should invest into and you don't have to invest in a full possible hand you can invest into hand, just a finger like this and uh, we also have options where you can get them without uh, the wiring so then it's even cheaper so yeah that's a hot tip from me to you okay so I'm just gonna do it the easy way file it like this I am so excited to see what this looks like. And I am so excited to see um, all the different smoothies, smoothies that you are going to create. That would be awesome. So yeah, please uh, use, uh, well, tag us, tag me, and um, use the hashtag um, Moonflare Smoothie. And we would love to share your work. That would be so much fun. Okay, I think I'm pretty happy with that. Okay, so I think this is kind of the, the moment of truth. Uh, what is this gonna look like? We don't know. We don't know. Okay. Uh, let me double check. Mm, okay. So. Let's do the uh, shine. Ooh. It is pretty. <laughs> oh, it's, it, it is a unicorn smoothie shake drink. I would imagine a unicorn drinking this on a hot summer day. <laughs> That's pretty nice. Okay, so curing that for one minute. And um, yeah, that was that. That was your smoothie nails. Let me grab this and replace this so you can see what it looks like. So if we go, okay, let's go. Okay, this one is actually too big for that finger, but let's go with that anyways. And let's remove that. Okay, I'm just waiting for my unicorn uh, smoothie to um, fry in the oven. <laughs> so mojito smoothie. Yeah, it's kind of like that. Mojito. I would love to see some mojito nails. That would be so cool. Yeah, but as I said, you know, you you can create whatever you like. Just add stuff to it. Add glitter, add foil, add um, flowers, leaves. Like, if you want to do a mojito, of course, you need to add leaves and stuff like that. So just go crazy with it. You can mix different um, fruits. I think that would look awesome as well. Like um, sangria. Oh, a sangria nail. That would be awesome. Okay, but here you have the nails. Da, da, da. So, yeah, I would love to see your versions of this. That would be so cool. And Charlie, well, thank you for watching. Thank you uh, for being here with us. And hopefully you enjoyed um, this live. And... Uh, Next Monday, 
we got another live so make sure to check in every monday same time we are always here and don't forget to follow us at moonflare ab on instagram and of course follow us here so that you get notified every time we get a new live up because we of course want you to be here thank you well thank you cindy for being here as well and uh, make sure to check out all the different products that we got so um yeah especially this one moonflare dot se slash en slash home if you want to get directly to the international uh, shop and make sure to check out the stand uh, that i am working with right now it is fantastic and with that said thank you so much for watching and see you around and see you next monday okay take care bye